Dude, are you kidding me? Like, mosquito bites. Um, this is an 100% breast slider, and it's like mosquito bites. Like, but isn't that, isn't, isn't it weird, the values of the gay leftist cucks? How they're like, oh, yep, nope, that's, that's all the butt you could have. That's all the butt we're going to give you. But the 100% butt slider looks like this, dog. Like, what? What is going on here? What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Andy Pants here. Can I just thank y'all seriously? Like, I love you guys. <laughs> I love the community that I have built up in the past couple months of just, I get on every day and there's so many comments that are like, this is amazing. Nobody's ever been this honest. And it means so much to me to be on this journey with you guys, making content for you guys. And um, I told you guys about the death threats I've been getting because I've been speaking the truth so much about these people. And you guys sent me an outpouring of emails just saying, dude, stick with it. Don't stop. You got to keep going. And um, guys, I've never created con content for an audience before that I've, I've felt such a kinship with you guys. Like we just, I just feel like we are in such agreement right now. So, but guys today, um, just a quick little live video. This is not scripted, obviously. <laughs> um, I, I wanna talk about Dragon Age Veilguard and all the ridiculous stuff going on with Dragon Age Veilguard. And then we're gonna talk about Assassin's Creed Shadows and then we're gonna talk about Ghost of Yote. So if you remember Bioware in the 2000s, uh, they made all these incredible games, all these incredible RPGs, um, the Mass Effect series and the Dragon Age series being two of the biggest ones. And these games supported romance. These games supported choice and consequence. They had wonderful gameplay. It was truly peak gaming. And then um, Bioware effed up. You know, they hired a creative director who couldn't make it in life as a dude and thought, Oh man, you know what? Turning into a woman, this is this is gonna help me. <laughs> so this should have been their first problem. In 2021, Bioware hired as the creative director for Dragon Age Veilguard a dude who couldn't cut it as a man and thought, oh man, this is gonna go better for me if I just become a wood woman. And um, guys, when you when you hire men dressing up as women, it's it's over for you. You're you're done. Uh your company's done and your games are gonna suck. So the first scandal that I noticed um, was that uh, as they were doing the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, the only thing Bioware could think to add, you know, they're not adding anything create, creative. They're, they're, they're not add, adding the much wanted different ending to Mass Effect 3 that everybody wanted. They're like, ooh, butts are gross. Let's, let's nerf Miranda's butt. You know, there's an obvious scene in, uh, I think it's Mass Effect 2, where Shepard is blatantly staring at Miranda's butt, and it's funny, and it's part of the story. And they thought, ooh, that's icky. We're just going to take that out. So this should have been a red flag, y'all, that, I mean, if Anthem wasn't a red flag, this should have definitely been a red flag that Bioware was trash now. I stole this little meme over on the light on the left from Melanie Mack's channel, but... Uh, <laughs> This is this enjoy Veilguard, guys. <laughs> enjoy your top surgery scars. So we know that uh, video games are going to be played by kids, even if it's an 18 and up game. We know it's going to be uh, uh, played by kids. And you guys at Bioware should be ashamed that you're exposing kids and anybody plays this games to depravity, to bodily mutilation. Like this is disgusting that they put this in a game. And I think the developers should be ashamed um, because it's it's just really gross and it's depraved. Um, and also just check out like the art in this game, man. Like this is like, like what is it? <laughs> some kind of a demon with like a weird five head with like weird horns? Like the art in this game just looks um, terrible. But guys, it doesn't end there. Um, you've got this creature in the bottom right who's probably very confused about their own life. Uh, they're praising the character creator in this game, just talking about how how amazing the character creator is. <laughs> and like, look, this looks like it's it's like a linebacker woman. It's like, oh, here here's a chick who plays on the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, and then, oh, look, th there it is, non-binary. So you can so your gender, you know, your pro your pronouns, I'm sure, can be tree true and troon and then your gender is man woman and non-binary um you know what happened to edgy guys this made me think of like do you remember when we were growing up how like violence and sex and drugs was edgy like video games now you know what would be edgy now space marine 2 is edgy now 
saying that there are two genders is edgy now. Um, being religious and following Christ and, and following Islam and following a religious faith is edgy. Like, isn't that wild that that's, <laughs> isn't that wild that that's what's edgy now? Um, so like, like I'm, I'm fully expecting, so I have a young daughter, she's five months old. I'm fully expecting my child to grow up and be edgy in the eyes of the world today, which means she's religious, you know? Um, so this was really funny. Um, this chick savvy, uh, she hangs out with like stuttering Craig and all those guys. She, um, said I am in a, uh, she was making fun of the character creator. She said, I'm an 108 pound woman who sits for 15 hours a day. I'm not even in my prime. And so she's saying like, you know, she's saying, Hey, I've got a pretty good butt in, in her words. And then she's comparing that with the a hundred percent butt slider on the gay beer. <laughs> So this so this woman savvy is saying, look, I don't even have a very good butt, but the a hundred percent butt slider looks like this, dog. Like, what? What is going on here? And look, I'm not some kind of gross pervert dude, but I believe in freedom of the press and freedom of everyone. And I think you should be able to have whatever kind of body you want in a game. But isn't that isn't isn't it weird? The values of the gay leftist cucks, how they're like, oh, yep, no, that's that's all the butt you could have. That's all the butt we're going to give you. Um, I saw this quote on Twitter. Dragon Age Velgard developers, you can remove breasts and add scars, but we'll close the studio before you ever make a sexualized female character. <laughs> um, guys, it gets more wild. So what does the body in the game, what do, in the character creator, what do the bodies in the game look like when you go 100% on the breasts? <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Like mosquito bites. Um, this is an 100% breast slider and it's like mosquito bites. Like, <sighs> see, but guys, this is what happens when you put, guys, this is what happens when you put people like this in charge because People like this are broken. They're angry at men. They hate you. Dude, these people hate you. They hate me. They hate you. They hate regular men. They hate regular women because they're confused. They're confused and hateful, and they hate anything good. They hate anything that's uh, the way that God created it. Like, let's be honest. God created some women with big, bo big uh, boobs and big breasts and everything. And they hate God's design of humans. So they think, oh, we can do a better job. We're going to say this is an 100% breast slider. And this is a game with a more ample uh, breast uh, allowance. You know, it's like, who cares? It's your fantasy. You know, for, for those of us who are gamers, it's your fantasy. It's your video game. You should be able to play the game however you want it. But no, not according to the woke leftist Prius driving cucks uh, at BioWare. They're saying, oh, this is this is 100% chest size. That's all you get. Uh, but finally, um, th this is, guys, this is pretty much the nail in the coffin for Dragon Age Veilguard because this game is done. EA is apparently has been caught faking orders for their pre-orders. <laughs> um, I've seen some uh, reports that GameStop pre-orders are incredibly low for the game. We know that right now the game is below Fallout 76. Um, it's at 122 on the pre-orders and in the interest right now chart. It's done, guys. Dragon Age the Veil Guard is cooked because it went woke. And that's why the title that I said of this video is um, we're winning. We're winning because these companies are going to have to shutter. Bioware is going to have to close down because they're not giving people what they want anymore. But guys, speaking of that, let's go on to Assassin's Creed Shadows here and um, I, I made a video about this game talking about how uh, the definition of woke is forcing a political narrative into a game that doesn't exist or doing it in a really wooden propaganda propagandistic way. And that's exactly what Assassin's Creed Shadows did. So I found a couple articles here from uh, that park place. Um, Ubisoft developer reportedly reveal company brushes off legitimate criticism as toxic gamer talk and DEI policy policies have led to brain drain. Um, guys, uh, uh, blessed are you if you get called a shill. Blessed are you if you get called a grifter. 
Um, blessed are you if you get called toxic on the internet these days, because it means you're following a righteous and a moral path because these people don't know anything about morality. These people have no morality whatsoever. And so all they can do is call you a, a toxic gamer and a chud and all this stuff. Those are keywords, guys. When you get called a grifter and a shill, that is a keyword to let you know that you're you're on the right path, dude. You're you're following God. Um uh here's here's another, and I'm gonna butcher his name. Ubisoft CEO Eves Eves Gamon claims company's goal is not to push any specific agenda, despite company's website saying otherwise. <laughs> uh, dude, this guy is in full meltdown mode. Um, so he's saying, we don't push any specific agenda here. But then you go to, uh, I guess, sorry, the whole thing didn't paste, but you go to their website and they have a section called Our Vision. And they talk about colleagues, culture, content, and community. And they talk about all of their, all of their leftist homo values. And see, you know, the interesting reason why wokeism is invisible to wokies is because they say, oh, this is just right. You're a bigot if you disagree with me. You're a racist if you, if you disagree with me. They can't see, they're, they're unable to see their own bullshit because they surround themselves with people who agree with him with themselves. And they say, Oh, we're not sp pushing any specific agenda. This is just how it is. And yet they have their religious devotion to their pagan gay communist values. Um, uh, just looking back on <clears throat> this, this hilarious scene uh, where Yasuke on Assassin's Creed shadows is, is, you know, even though we're in the 1600s, we somehow have, uh, uh, 1990s American hip hop music playing over him. <laughs> and even though he's supposedly a ninja from Africa, we're, we're going to play hip hop music over the guy like tone deaf, liberal white women. I think Jay, the concept said it best. This game was made by tone deaf, liberal white women. So guys, the reason why I say that we're winning is because this happened. Dear players, Assassin's Creed shadows is a dream project for us. Do, 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 do. finally bringing the series to feudal Japan. Guys, it, it, it wasn't ever about bringing the series to Japan. If you wanted to bring the series to Japan, you would have had the kind of characters that you did before in a new Assassin's Creed game, but you specifically changed around the characters. You made them woke. You put uh, weird particular minorities in there that are based off of your political al aligning. And, and like, Assassin's Creed has never been about taking some, you know, I think I made the comparison of taking a white guy named Brad from Ohio and putting him in a game, putting him in a game about Africa. Everybody would lose their mind if Ubisoft did that. And yet they can't see their own bullshit. So um, they said, as such, we've made the decision to postpone the release date to February 14th, 2025. The game will release on a broad range of platforms, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, they did say, rest assured, we are looking forward to the moment you will embark on a memorable adventure with Neo and Yasuke. So they are confusing there. Um, uh, uh, sorry, they are confirming there that that Yasuke will not be taken out of the game. Much to everybody's chagrin, he will not be taken out of the game. Um, <coughs> and guys, I forgot to pull up the screenshots here. But Star Wars Outlaws, um, they said in a report, is 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 uh, sales softer than expected. Just think of all of the failed games that Ubisoft had this year, guys. Skull and Bones was a huge failure. Um, Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to be a huge failure. Star Wars Outlaws was a huge failure. Like, this is a billion-dollar company. And because of wokeism, they've gone and, they, and they've failed uh, horribly here. And by the way, I have a, um, I did a interview with a Ubisoft developer, a guy who worked at the company for 10 years. I'm working on getting that out right now. I just had to have to edit it together. Um, and guys, finally, let's talk about Woke of Yote, i.e. The, the sequel to Ghost of Tsushima. And what I want to ask you, and, and to be honest, I'm, I'm not a huge sword game guy, so I was never like, I think I respected this game. It's clearly a based game. It's clearly a masculine game. It's about honor, duty, and devotion. 
Um, it had incredible cutscenes. I'm just not a huge like sword game guy, but I, I very much respected this game. And let me ask you all this. How is this story and this game going to be improved at all by putting a woman as the main character? Like, can you imagine any world where this is an improvement to the game? You know, like it's not. Y'all know it's not going to be better, and they've they've girl boss too hard. And um, we 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 already know this is true because the girl who is playing as the main actress, uh, this is her on the left here with her trans flags and her homo flags and her I'm broken flags and her I'm degenerate flags. Um, guys, y'all know it's going to be a terrible game. Like like, come on. So uh, a couple of websites, though, have responded uh, in this way, saying ghost of Yote actor being targeted by trolls, prompting the community to offer support. Um, guys, just stop making bad games, maybe. Stop making games that people don't want and stop destroying franchises that people love. Because I know people love Ghost of Tsushima. It's it's turbo based. It's super masculine. It's super authentic. And you know, this is going to be girl boss trash. Like, are, are you kidding me guys? Look, look at what else? Look at Concord. Look at, um, uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, sorry, Star Wars outlaws. Look at all the other games that came out this year. Do you seriously think this game isn't going to be a girl boss game? It's going to be all about, oh, let's challenge the patriarchy and men are so evil and all this all this garbage that that uh, we want to be force fed, you know? Um, I like this quote from Endymion. He said, Ghost of Tsushima sequel stars a Japanese woman, Samurai Warrior, because of course it does. <laughs> they can't help themselves until every franchise that was built on masculinity is replaced by women. Exactly, dude. Like, they're, they're broken. Let me Let me give you an example. The Hallmark Channel. Do I go to the Hallmark Channel and say, you need more men over here. You need more men telling stories on the Hallmark, Hallmark Channel. No, because the Hallmark Channel is watched by 95% women, and I bet the other 5% are gay men that watch it. And so it's not targeted at you, dude. Why are you going to mess with it? But women, liberal uh, useless women who have cats and are undesirable and probably not married. They're like, Oh, I have to infect the game industry. I have to come into the game ind industry and I want to work into the game industry. And the thing that I love about my server and about my Bible study server and about several of the groups I'm in is that, you know, like I have a wife, I have a daughter, I have, there's many women in my life that I love, but when I want to hang out with the, bo with the boys it's great to have male spaces. Male spaces are a great thing. And video games are a male space. Whether you like it or not, 80 or 90% of the people who play video games are men. Um, and this is so this is all we're saying, really. But the quote continues on, Ghost of Yote is hopefully a smaller spinoff game, but if this is the true sequel, and this is the new main character over Jin Sakai, fuck that. So sick of the forced girl boss narrative, man. He's right. He's 100% right. Um, so guys, yeah, I just wanted to hit quickly on these three games. Wanted to let y'all know that I see what's going on. And and we are winning. I, like, I know it doesn't feel like we're winning, but we are. And th the reason I know we're winning is because Space Marine 2 was huge. Elden Ring 2, uh, sorry, Space Marine 2 was huge. Elden Ring was huge. Black Myth Wukong were huge uh, this year. You know, Elden Ring with its DLC. And those were all man, manly, masculine based games. And then all the girl boss games like Concord, like Star Wars Outlaws, um, like this game, like Assassin's Creed Shadows, all of the girl boss homo leftist games have failed this year. So I know it, I know it doesn't feel like it, boys, but we are winning. We are slowly winning the culture war and things are changing. And I think within like, four or five years now it's it's you're gonna see developers like saber interactive and these small indie developers who are actually making masculine games i think you're gonna see them start to blow up and then ubisoft and ea are just gonna be shuddering they're, they're gonna have to change their strategy or they're gonna have to close so um i'm gonna get out of here see y'all later bye